Hey there folks, Dan Bell here from Intigen. Today I'm gonna to talk about master projects and sub projects and how you use them in Microsoft Project Online. And we're gonna dig right into this. Uh, first, uh, I do have a blank project open and this will eventually be my master project. But what I wanna do first is insert the sub projects in there. And I already have two sub projects created and you'll see them in a moment. From the project ribbon, the sub project button is right here in the insert section. Click on that. And if you look here, my two sub projects, it's gonna be a software development plan and it is split into two sections. We have part one and part two. And you'll, you'll see the tasks once we get inside and we'll talk about the relationships. Uh, we're gonna insert number two first. And there's the second one. Let's just go ahead and click on that again. And now we'll insert number one. And let's expand these two projects here. And as you can see, again, it's a software development project. We're creating some kind of software here. The first three phases in the first sub project are scope, analysis, and design. The three phases in the other project are development, testing, and training. And you can tell each of these is a sub project because of the project indicator in the indicators column. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to create a relationship between these two sub projects, right? So basically you can see they're both starting uh, on 2.12 and, and that's not really going to work out here because the situation is this. We want the development phase of the second sub project to start upon completion of design. How do we do that? Well, we'll select the design complete task here and then we'll go ahead and control and click on review functional specifications as part of the development phase and one way we're going to do it is we go to the task ribbon in the schedule section there's the chain link and we click that and now we can see that a relationship has been created not only that the other thing you want to notice the significance of is that um, you can see that the, the dates in the project have changed so design complete finishes five six whereas training is going to finish 7-8 based on the work that we currently have scheduled here. So what I'll do is I'll select file, save as, click the save button, and then we'll call this software development, and then we'll call it master. And we'll just go ahead and select save. Whenever I save the project here, the, there's all, also going to be prompts for saving the sub projects that are contained within it. And remember, what did I do? I created a intra project dependency. And by doing so, the, the second sub project, we had the dates changed. Therefore, there's a number of changes that are going on to the data behind the scene. I can click yes to just part two. And if I do that, I should get prompted for part one, which I do. Click yes again. And there we go. So now my master, you can see it in the header bar, software development master has been saved. And what I want to do in this case is I want to publish it so I'm going to select file info publish and there's going to be the prompt for the project site and now we're publishing the master project and what happens when you publish a master project is it's actually publishing the sub projects as well and we're going to confirm that by going to project center okay uh, so let's go ahead and do that but before we do I'm going to sign out of my master project I'll click close do you want to check in the master project I do and because I selected check-in for that one, it automatically checks in the subs. Let's go to project center in my demonstration environment. All right, so here we are in there, and then we'll go ahead and navigate down, and there are my projects. There's the master project, and there's one project uh, sub and the other sub project. And if you notice, the indicator for the master project is gonna look uh, somewhat different than the indicators for the regular projects a way to easily identify them. Therefore, you don't have to put the word master in here. You'll automatically see it. Um, but again, the other thing we want to point out is that the finish date of the first sub project is uh, five, six. And remember that the dates did update in the other project to 713. Uh, so here's a, a scenario. So just imagine in this particular case, each sub project is being managed by a different project manager. And that's a great case scenario for having separate sub projects. So you don't have the same project managers having to get access to the project uh, and work on it. They have their own separate projects. But uh, a day in the life of the PM, how does this really work? Well, I'm going to be the project manager that manages the first sub project in this case. And I'm going to open it up. There's project plan. And it's part one. And I'm going to click open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go through a hypothetical that 
the project uh, is under execution and certain things are happening and uh, we can see that we've we've made it through part of scope let's go into analysis we made a part way through analysis so let's assume at this point yeah, you know, we're part way through develop preliminary budget however it's taking longer than we thought maybe another four days here we'll go ahead and click that and cursor off and you can see that the end date of the project here has changed right so it's changed to 5 12 21 notice this kind of um, grayed out a little bit task here at the bottom that's actually the task that the relationship is to this one right here and therefore Microsoft project is showing it to help you know, just make it a little simpler to know that there is a relationship to another project here okay all right so we made that change it changed the end date let's go ahead and again day in life publish the project select info publish and we're gonna have this information you can see the publish status in the lower right of the screen here now since we changed the uh, some of the data in this project and it did ultimately change the end date what I would uh, expect as the other project manager of part two is that when that person's opens up the other project that there's going to be a change in the date there as well All right so if you recall going back to project center the end date was 7 13 2021 what we're going to do is open part two and let's see if it changes to a date other than 7 13 part two click open and once it opens now this this dialogue comes up basically because it's alerting me hey you know what something uh, changed in your project based on an external relationship well what exactly changed well the, the, the dialog box actually tells you it's saying design complete which is the uh, predecessor task in this particular case to this particular project uh, what happened is the date changed okay and the task start there we go let's change it around the date used to be five six it was changed to 512 in the project the predecessor and it's going to ultimately affect the start date of this project and I have uh, an option here you know I, I can like just click close and not accept the change or I can click accept to go ahead and say well like you know this is a dynamic project that is a predecessor it is going to affect my project let's click accept here and then we'll go ahead and click close All right therefore that's how that that kind of process is going to take by editing and uh, managing these projects separately I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, publish this project so that all the information is in sync publish it again the status down here in the lower right currently seven percent it'll go up to 100 you know, percent pretty rapidly here and once it does we can go into project center and confirm within project center that the end date of the project reflects that updated figure select file close yes we do want to check it in let's go back to project center remember it was 713 let's click on projects again to refresh the view and we'll go ahead down here and there you go 720 2021 okay uh, so that's basically how you're going to manage these two projects together with that intra project dependency now the next time uh, as a project manager maybe you want to see the projects together right you want to see um, one project on top of another so you can just view the entire GAN schedule as well just click on the master okay and what will happen is the master project will again open up both those projects okay so it's in here that I can actually come in here and look at some of the information maybe I want to go to tasks here scroll to the different tasks I'll zoom out a little bit on the Gantt chart and now I can see the entire relationship of this entire project and how it happens to be flowing here therefore if I were in in the entire project I can see everything that's taking place here you yeah, remember we were in um, analysis and design here maybe we finished that now we're just just chugging away through this project going to finish all of analysis design and now we're moving into the design phase and let's say you know, just again hypothetically speaking part of the way through here however instead of eight days is taking I don't know maybe 16 we'll double it and uh, we can look at the rest of the project here and it looks like it changed the end date to 8 9 21 again we're working on the two projects together in the master project at this point therefore what I can do is select file info publish and because we have the master opened whatever we do to that's happening to the subs meaning the subs are going to be published if I select yes to all 
and we can see the sync taking place down here it's at 55 if i were to look at the queue i'd be able to see a number of jobs being executed for the master sub one and sub two uh, just to confirm that everything's taking place let's close out you want to check it in i sure do go back to project center go ahead and click on projects to refresh and let's go ahead and see what we have here there's the date 8 9 2021 and the same date 8 9 2021 in the master project and if i wanted to view the master here i certainly could go to the schedule and this could be for other stakeholders right uh, there's the second project there's the first project and now i can see that entire relationship of this project out here in the web as well okay there you have it folks master projects sub projects and microsoft project online hope you learned something if you have any questions comments suggestions feel free to reach out on the information on this slide thanks and have a great day